She's not the only one. It is sad sometimes to see the one you love with another. With all of the time that she spent dreaming to tell Sometimes it's hard to let go To let go of the memories Oh, but sometimes it's also better to let someone go Let it go Let it go And try to move on She's not the only one Let it go Let it go And try to move on She's not the only one I know sometimes it may not be easy, but you have to let it go. Let it go, let it go. Oh, I know sometimes it may not be easy, but you have to let it go. She's not the only one. Let it go and try to move on. She's not the only one, yeah. Let it go, let it go. Try to move on. She's not the only one, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she's not the only one. It is sad sometimes to see the one you love with another. With all of the time that she spent dreaming to tell her. Sometimes it's hard to let go. To let go of the memories Oh, but sometimes it's also better To let someone go Let it go Let it go And try to move on She's not the only one let it go, let it go, and try to move on, she's not the only one. I know sometimes it may not be easy, but you have to let it go, let it go, let it go. Oh, I know sometimes it may not be easy. But you have to let it go Happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you Happy birthday, Monachi Wow Steve, thank you you are so welcome. I got you a cake and uh, it's a bottle of wine. It's time for you to make a wish. Okay. Mm hmm Come on, make a wish. <laughs> make a wish. Um, okay, that's too long. It's my wish. <laughs> you can't wish for the whole world. Okay, okay. All right, what All did right. you wish for? 
I didn't know I was supposed to tell you oh, what I on. wish for. Don't be smart. <laughs> All right. You're the one being smart. You know that, right? No, I'm just trying to <laughs> pick your brain. Know what you're wishing for. She's not the only one It's a sad sometimes to see the one you love With another With all of the time that she spent Dreaming to tell her Why are you awake? I, um... Just couldn't sleep, that's all. Why? Worried about something? No. See, you know you always do this, right? The mood swings and then you don't want to talk about anything. You sort of disregard everything around you. Why you sink into your own world? Look, uh, Angie, I think you're reading too much meaning into this. I, I just couldn't sleep, that's all. I, nothing. And again, it's uh, close to 5 a.m. I think I should be up and get ready for work, that's all. You know what, Steve? Shoot yourself. Angela? Angela! Oh, come on. Why is she always like this? I think I just have to give you some space to figure out what you want for yourself. We've been together for over six months now, and it's been fantastic. Why are you making an issue where there is none? I love you, and I am happy with you. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, so because I couldn't sleep, you suddenly think that I... I I need space. See, if it was just one night, then it wouldn't be a problem. For crying out like your mood swings are inconsistent. Huh? I'm tired of reading you all the time. You did? Oh, so, so you think it has something to do with my past? It has everything to do with your past as far as I'm concerned. You haven't let go. And you know, as far as those thoughts are still in your head, <laughs> Every other girl is just a rebound to you. Please excuse me. A good day, a good day, I'm gonna have a good day. Babe? Yeah? What's the matter? Nothing. Come on, sweet. You can't tell me nothing. You've you been sitting there looking all gloomy. Talk to me, what's the matter? You know, it's a big day for us. It's a big day for you. What do you need? Should I help you get your documents? Babe, what? Should I bring your bag? Babe, what is it with your attitude? Come on. Did I 
do anything wrong. Or did I say something? Hmm? Come on, darling, talk to me. Hmm? Talk to Baby. Oscar. Yeah. Today is my birthday. Oh, damn it! Honey, I'm so sorry. But you and I know I don't. Oh, how did I? You and I know I don't forget your birthday. When it's been crazy this past few days, you know, jump hunting interviews. Oh, it's okay. It's not okay. I mean, it's okay. I mean, it's all shades of wrong. Probably did skip my mind, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Today is an important day for you. It's the day you pick up your appointment letter for a job you've been looking for for over four months. I mean, if anything, there's no way in the world you will forget today's date. The fact that you didn't remember is... It only says that I'm not important to you. No, 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 no. Don't yes, I don't mean anything to you. Oh, don't talk like this. Don't talk like this. It's okay, Sorry, I'll just go set the table for your breakfast. No, it's okay. Come on. Baby, don't be like this. How did I even forget the date? Hey, baby. Possibility that I might be asked to resume work today. Okay. So I was thinking, how about we do dinner? Me. I, I, I'll take you to your favorite restaurant, mm -hmm. and we can spend the evening there, have a, have a nice time. Too. No, thank you. My cousins already made plans for me. They're throwing a party for me. If you want to come, I can text you the address. Wow. I never knew you had it all planned out. I don't have it all planned out. My cousins called earlier and they wanted to find out if I had any plans for the day, which there wasn't any. So I decided to run with their plans. But don't you think you should have spoke to me about it and you were asking me if I would like to spend the evening? You forgot about my birthday. How is it possible that you would have made any other plans for a date you didn't even remember? All right, fine, fine. How about after the party? Hmm? How about it? I'll be too tired after this. Come on, you know. Yeah, I'll be tired after the party. Don't do me like this. I, I, are you trying to punish me? Yeah. Look, I knew I made a mistake. Yes, I did. But you and I know I always do remember your birthday. It's just this once. Oh, last year? Come on, don't be like that. That was... I mean, yeah, but I still remember. Sweetheart, come on. Please. Oh. You know what, I guess I... I have to run along. My appointment is scheduled for 9 o'clock and oh. from the look of things, I seem to be running late. I won't be able to have that person. Okay. All the best in your Come on, darling. Smile for me. It's right. Take care of yourself, okay?
Okay. Uh, it's me. You have a meeting scheduled for 11 a.m. with a representative from LEDM company. Okay. Uh, there's a board meeting scheduled for 2 p.m. And after that, you have a little lunch meeting with Mr. Kelvin from Sky Group. Okay. Is that all? No, the supervisor, the factory supervisor called in sick for today. All right. Um, put the final draft of the board meeting on my work station. Okay. Uh, make sure you're ready to make copies of that, okay? Okay, sir. Uh, what about a new management manager? Uh, has uh, HR sent his file? Yes, that's his file. First one? Yes, first one. Oh, okay. He's supposed to come for his appointment later today. All right. Um, what time is that? 9 a.m. Okay. Uh, tell the receptionist to send it to my office as soon as he comes, okay? Okay, sir. That'll be all. Okay, sir. Hey, yes, good morning. How are you? Uh, well, um, I have an appointment with the managing director this morning. Uh, my name is uh, Oscar, Oscar Mwabuzi. Okay, sir. Please take your seat while we inform you that you're around. All right, thank you very All much. All right, sir. Thank you. Uh, good day, sir. I was told, uh, directed by your secretary to come see you. Yeah, um, sit down. Uh, all right. Thank Please. you very much. Sir. Steve? Oscar. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. The file says uh, Oscar and Wang who is here. But it just didn't cross my mind that it was you. Anyway, sir. Uh, hold on. You are the director? I don't see any other person sitting across the desk. You, Oscar. Oh, do you wish it was uh, somebody else? Oh, no, 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 not at all. I was just. Uh... Never mind. All right. So, uh, let's uh, proceed. Each uh, other thinks you are very qualified. Um, so, it's up to me to approve your appointment and you will uh, have the job. Yeah, exactly, yes. Hmm. Marketing manager. I wish I had quite an impressive crop of marketing managers in the past. The last one, David, uh, he just uh, moved to Canada with his uh, family. It's quite good. Mm. Quite an impressive resume you have here. No, exactly. I, as a matter of fact, I've worked with quite a number of organizations as the marketing manager. The least is, is all there in my credential. So. Oh, yeah. You can see. You can see. Okay. Hmm. Good. All right. Uh, just have one question for you, uh, Oscar. Uh, what's your in-depth knowledge about our company? I don't understand. I mean, why the need for this interview? Um, yes, and that's because I've actually discussed with the HR and spoke at length. I mean, every necessary thing was discussed. And I, you know, I was just, I mean, I think they, f they feel I'm qualified for this job. Yeah, they think you are qualified for the job and I am the one to approve your appointment. So, what is your in-depth knowledge of our company, Oscar? Are you going to answer me or not? 
Let's go. What exactly is your problem? Yes, what exactly is your problem? I mean, I've gone past this stage with the HR. To be honest with you, this interview is not necessary. It isn't. I mean, all you're, all you're required to do is just to approve my, my, my appointment and show me to my office and let me start work. I mean, this set of interview is not necessary. I mean, going about this is not necessary. That's Please. Good. You say it's a damn job. Well, let me tell you this. You need the damn job and I am the man who is to approve your appointment. Do you get it? So are you going to answer my question or not? Why? 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 Is it that you don't think I'm qualified for this job? Oh. Or simply because you just don't want to give me this job? I don't want to give you the job. Why won't I want to give you the job, Oscar? If you're qualified for the job, yes, I'll give you the job. I have no problem with that. I don't understand why you're making a fuss about a simple question. Right? Or is it because almighty Oscar can't see himself? being answerable to Steve. Ego. Is that it? Oscar? Wait, 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 Steve. Uh, is it, I hope it's not what I'm thinking. I hope it's not. Yes. I mean, does this have anything to do with our rift in the past? Does it? What? Uh, look, you know what? I... I guess I made the wrong move coming here in the first place. If I'd known that you walk here, I wouldn't have applied. I wouldn't. Why? Why not? Why not, Oscar? I don't have a pride. You're pride? Because you're, you're, you're qualified. You need a job. Hmm? You don't just need a job. You need a well-paying job. And we can give you that. So why wouldn't you apply? For your information, there are quite... I mean, there are loads of jobs out there. And not just jobs. Well-paying jobs. And not just your own job. You know what? I, I, I will show myself out. Okay? Thank you. Oscar! Stop being a dick and sit your ass down. Sit down. You need a job. You really need a job. And I can give you the job. You're qualified. I'm not asking you this question because I have a personal beef or something with you. I'm asking you because it's my job. So sit down. And let's talk about this. You know what? Thank you. Thanks. But thanks. Keep your job. <sighs> wow. Ego. Hey, baby. Look what we have here. Yeah, it's the birthday girl. How did it go? I'm fine. Well, it went well. It did. Babe, look, I... Hey, babe. Look, I want to apologize for what happened this morning. I'm sorry. It's okay, man. Our relationship is full of ups and downs, like every other relationship. And this morning was just one of those moments, so it doesn't matter. Come it's on, important. it is important. Look, you matter to me, too. I'm not talking about us, okay? I'm talking about, you know, the whole situation. I should have tried to understand you. Oh, sweet. Um, all the same, I'd like to apologize once again. I'm sorry. I mean, there's no justification for me to... I wait, mean, wait, is that mine? Thank you. No, don't you be got like, me yes. a gift. Well, I know you don't want to talk about this. That's why you're changing the topic. Yeah, because it's not important. It doesn't matter, okay? It is important. It does matter. Look, see, look. When people talk about things that bother them, it makes them better people. And in our case, better couple. I see you like Valerie. You just want to oh, argue. Yes. 
You always choose violence. No. All, I, all I'm asking for is for you to talk. I want, look, I want, I'm doing this for, for us, for you. I want you to be able to express yourself. I want you to be able to know what's going on with you, how you feel. For example, I want to know how you feel right now. Right now, I just want to have a good day. It's my birthday. Please don't ruin it. I don't want to assume that everything is all right when it isn't. Don't ruin what is left of my day. No. But why not loud? Don't you get it? No, no, please. All I'm asking for is for you to communicate with me. Oh, good. It's fine. It's fine. Look, you, there you have your gift. Let me just go freshen up, okay? Thank you. Oh. Um, okay, let's scan. Hey. Let's scan. Wait. Hey. I cancelled the plans with my cousins, and if you want to step up, you can make the most of today and maximize it. Lily! Oh, sure, of course! <laughs> <laughs> I'm right back. Oh, that's great news! Woo! Sitting outside. I wasn't sure you would lend me since I walked out on you this morning. Angela. Steve, I am. Um, it's just that. Don't I... you stop. Stop it. Stop it. You don't... What's wrong with you? I don't know. I don't know. I feel I am just your rebound. What are you even saying? You feel stuck in your past. Angela, we've talked about this. I told you my past stays there in my past. And what if the past keeps interfering in the present? You are the one, my darling. You're the one who keeps thinking that my past is interfering in my present. But no, I've moved on. Can we at least go inside and talk about this? I mean, not, not here, please. All right? Come on, let's go inside. Look, and one more thing. You're my girlfriend. You have a spare key to this house. Don't you ever think that one misunderstanding will uh, make me not want to see you again or don't want you in my life again? All right? I'm sorry if you think that. I am sorry too. Why are you still in bed? Aren't you supposed to be resuming today? Babe! What's going on? Why are you still in bed? Aren't you supposed to resume work today? No. What do you mean no? Didn't you get your appointment letter yesterday? As expected. Um... What am I missing? This is the time of the day when people are, you know, up, getting ready to go for work. I'm also getting ready to go for work. So, what's going on? I choose to sleep. Uh, please, will you just allow me to sleep? I mean, this doesn't make me less of a man. I mean, you did what you wanted to do yesterday. I didn't force you against your wish. So, please, please allow, allow me, please. Oh, yes, I'll go. You can go to work. <laughs> Do 
Get up. Oscar, stand, stand up. Stand up. What Get up. Is this? Ah. What, is what kind this? of ah. life is this one? Get up what from the bed, you This one is ah. laziness. Okay. Hey, baby. Hey, what babe. What are we having for breakfast? Well, sandwich. Ooh, sandwich. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is good. I actually made a reservation for the both of us at a Chinese restaurant. And you are going to love it because the restaurant is not just beautiful, but the cuisines are so delicious. I don't get. What are we celebrating? Come on. Do we have to be celebrating something for me to take my girlfriend out? At least there has to be a reason or a motive. Okay. Let's say, um, because I love you. What the hell? Um, just eat up, um. Else you're going to be late. And then you have to work over time to meet up your schedules for the day. Which means cancelling the dinner. Oh, not a chance. Cancelling this dinner? That's a chance. Not a chance in the world this dinner is going to be cancelled because I have to make sure I treat you to something great. Oh. Oh. Mm. Can I show you? Oh, sure. Mm. Oscar. Oscar. What is this now? Watching TV in my own house. Why are you so bent on frustrating me? Why? But you choose to get yourself frustrated. So how is that my fault? How? I've been paying the bills and running this house for the past four months with my salary. And? You're tired already? Look, what is even wrong with you, baby? I don't seem to understand. I mean, need I remind you that I've been running the affairs of this house for the past four years, ever since we got married. And never, never have I complained. Not for once. Well, after all, I'm not expected to complain since I'm the man of the house. But you, just four months. Four months. And you're acting up. I don't even understand you women, no. A real privilege to just fill in the void for a little period and you start acting. You're carrying shoulders. Eh? Acting like the old, the old one is on your shoulder. Oh, please. And um, for your information, let me make something clear. I am not poor. Oscar, please, what happened at the office yesterday? What happened at the office yesterday? I don't like the managing director. And? I mean, how do you expect me to report to someone I don't like? Can't you get it? Hey, God. Can you just do us a favor and do the damn job? I mean, you've worked with horrible bosses. Heck, you don't even have to be best friends with your boss. What's different this time? Look, this time it's absolutely different. It is. It is. How so? Oh, Mona, can we just stop this? Please, I don't want to talk about it anymore. I'd rather you get me breakfast because I'm starving. And um, yes, I will send money into your account. Enough of this. I've been taking care of as I will need. How much is it? Worth? How much? Wait, come here. Come here. Which of the account should I? You know what you can go at me. But you don't mind that account you have. Yeah. 
Hey! What is even inside that? Um, Anna? Yes, sir. Is the new marketing manager here yet? No, sir. Okay. Go on with your work. It's okay. okay Bye. Sir. Wonderful. Hmm? Day two. And you're sitting your lazy ass like a couch potato, set up to watch TV, just like you did yesterday. Please, Mona. I beg you. Please. Let me be. Okay? I mean, I don't have the energy for another inquisition to do. Inquisition! Please. Oh, you call your wife asking you why you've decided to play hunky dory instead of going to work and inquisition. Mina, Mina, please. I'll advise you, mind your mouth. Besides, I told you I don't like the MD. Did this MD steal your destiny? Because how do you justify this new behavior? How? What's going on? Look, why don't you just cut me some slack? I mean, it's not like this is the only job that exists. I mean, leave me. Oscar, will you stop acting like a, a misunderstood teenager and just man up and go to work? Seriously? Yes. Misunderstood teenager? You heard me right. Misunderstood teenager. You heard me. Telling me to man up? Yes, man up. Look, man I'll, up. I'll, I'll advise you, you go tell that you're stupid and childish ex that. I mean, the one who's trying to get back at me simply because he has found himself in a more privileged position. What are you talking about? What ex? I'm talking about Steve. Yes, Steve. Not again. Not, not after how many years, Steve? How many times I tell you I never dated Steve? And, 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 and if partners were to be a person, I mean, it should be Steve. It will be Steve. So you now see the reason why I don't want the job in the first place? You know what I see? I see a man that has chosen to give up on a great opportunity. An opportunity that he worked so hard to get. One that he spent so much time and effort to get simply because of his insecurities. I mean, for some reason you filled your head with this idea that I dated a man that I was never with. saying you should just man up and go to work. No, ma. Besides, I'm still waiting for that alert. What? That salary you talked about. I'm waiting for it. What I have not seen it. Alert? What are you talking about? Well, maybe Lazy it's bam. the network. Come on, sir. Is something wrong? Nothing is wrong. But you're acting different. Are you sure everything is okay? If you go to bed, I'm fine. I'm just tired, that's all. But I'm fine. In that case, I can help with a massage. Yeah, I'm just nice. You should too. Go to bed. Okay. She wants to stay with the side.
Isabel. Hi, um, Steve, how are you doing? Who is this? Monaji. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm so sure you don't have this number. It's Mona. I'm sorry I didn't introduce myself. Um, how are you? Um, I'm good. I've been good. Good, yeah. Great. You? Um, I mean, uh, how have you been? Yeah, nice. Um, okay, that's nice. It's good. Um, Steve, I wanted to talk to you. I'm, I'm so sorry I'm calling late, but I needed to talk to you about something. No, it's just not a problem. I mean, I don't, I don't have a problem with it at all. Okay, so um, what did you want to talk about? It's, it's about Oscar, my husband. Please, if it's not too much to ask, I, I was wondering if you could give him a second chance. Yeah. Oh. You know, on, on the job. A second chance, Steve, please. Okay, Mona. All right. Thank you. It's okay, it's not a problem. It's okay. Thank you so much, Steve. It's okay, it's not a problem. It's fine. Bye, right, good night. All right. You too. some space to get your breakfast ready. My breakfast? What if I want to have this breakfast? Hmm? What's it? Hmm? Okay, all right, all right. I, I need my breakfast, that's important. But I still need you some time, right? Hmm? Okay, okay. Why are you so serious, darling? Uh -huh. Why are you so serious? Uh -huh. Oh. Okay, I'm in the living room, baby.
This is your letter of appointment. You can resume immediately. I will let uh, Doris show you your office. Yeah, Doris, uh, come to my office right now. Okay, bye. Uh, excuse me. I'm shocked. I mean, I'm surprised you still kept the position for me. How come? You can be grateful you have a good wife. Yeah. If she hadn't put in a good wife for you, the story would have been different. I'm sure there are not many jobs of this magnitude lying around the streets. Um, Sir? Um, this is my secretary, Doris. Doris, this is our new marketing manager. Please show him his office, okay? Okay. Yeah. Um, thank you. Anything else? Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you too. Um, but be more grateful too, Mona. All right, I'll be off. Okay. This way, sir. Welcome. Oh, babe, how did it go? As you planned. What was that supposed to mean? How could you? Why did you have to go back, Steve? I mean, do you have an idea what that did to my pride? Babe, I'm sorry. Look, I was only trying to help. Trying to do what? I told you that what I do with my life is none of your business. How was I supposed to know you were going to up and go to work? How? How was I supposed I to I mean, know? I didn't have to tell you anything. And uh, on the second thought, how come you still have his number? Please, don't make a mountain out of a molehill. Seriously? Also, explain to me. I mean, you're going behind me to talk to my boss. So you didn't consider that crossing the line? You know, you have this unique way of, of, of making the most simple things complicated. I mean, how was I supposed to know that? Wait, did you just call him your boss? Oh, <laughs> I'm so proud no, of you. Do you think, do you think it's funny? Do you? Like, I was going to get the job with or without your help. And that was exactly what I did. Congratulations, baby. Come on now. Babe, I'm sorry. I didn't know it would get you so upset. I really didn't see things that way. Oscar, babe, would you at least look at me? I'm sorry. I, I was... I was only trying to help. I didn't know you get so upset about it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I totally understand. But uh, before we make uh, certain moves, we have to be sure about what we're doing. How these things don't just happen like that? Of course, of course, of course. But I'm sure you know that um, we have to be very cautious, whatever we do. Okay, just let me get to the, the office and I'll give you a call back, okay? All right. Thank you. Bye. So since my uncle is in town, yep. I would like us to have dinner with him. Oh. This weekend. Uh, baby, I don't think that would be possible. Why? Why not? Okay then. Lunch? I will arrange it. I'm afraid I can't do lunch either. Why not, babes? It's the weekend. Oh, do you have other plans? Not really. But I... But what, Steve? Come on, you don't want to meet my family. I didn't say that. But I don't think that we should uh, take things further. 
Can you stop trying to put words in my Of course, Steve! What is it? You keep... I overheard you speaking to Muna the other night. Did you know you guys still talk? You keep saying you and Muna were just friends. Yet she keeps you awake at night. And then I'm the one not good enough for you. Where is this coming from? See, Steve, see. I don't understand you. Where, why are you talking about Steve, that? let me tell you. If you don't want me, come out and say it. Because there's no way I'm going to play second fiddle to anyone. May I remind you that Mona is a married woman? Has that ever stopped anyone? You know what? I can't even do this. I can't have this conversation right now. Of course, go! Walk away! Just go! I am nobody anyway! Muna is married, yeah, she's the love of your life! Nonsense! Keep fooling yourself! <laughs> Aren't you going to have breakfast? No. Why? It's been close of yesterday. Are you still upset? Hi. Steve, I'd like us to talk. Okay. Say, tomorrow evening? Sure. I mean, yes. Okay. So, I'll, um, I'll let you know the place and time. Okay, no problem. Bye. Thank you. You look as beautiful as always. You haven't changed a bit. Thanks. Um, I think we should go somewhere and talk over food. Oh no, I won't be long. I'll just go straight to the point. Okay. Shoot. I asked you for a favor. Why did you tell my husband about it? Are you trying to ruin my marriage? What? Why would you say nothing like that? No. <laughs> I didn't know I wasn't supposed to tell him about it. I'm sorry. Thank you for giving him a second chance. That was all I wanted. Nothing else. Mona, I think uh, there's some kind of misunderstanding here. Do you want me to talk to him about it? Really, Steve? Really? You've done enough already. I think I should take my leave now. Um, Mona. <laughs> Hi, babe. Hi. How are you? 
Fine, how was your day? Went well. Work was good. I had dinner. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry about my attitude today. I know you meant well. Exactly. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to get you upset. I was only trying to help. And I'm sorry I interfered. Can we just. Can we just move past that? She not picking my calls. Why is she not picking my calls? Hey babe, I'm kind of worried I've been calling you, you're not picking your calls. Can you just speak up or just say something at least so I know you're okay? I um, kind of miss you. Okay babe, bye.
Oh, here are the files you you requested for. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think I'll just drop them in. Okay, thank you. Angie, I'm sorry. Steve, it is not about you being sorry. Are you still in love with her? Look, um, what Muna and I shared, I mean, what I felt for Muna was a kind of unrequited kind of love. I can't deny that the feelings I had for her was strong, deep. But I don't think she ever felt the same way about me. I think she only saw me as a good friend. Look. Angie. I want you to trust me. Trust me. I'm over, Mona. Steve, why should I believe you? I know it's your choice, your decision to believe me or not. But I want us to work. Angie, I want us to work because I love you. And I want you in my life. Okay. See, trusting you is a decision I am making. And please do not betray that trust. Never. I won't. Look. Have I ever told you this true story about Mona and myself? Would you like to hear it? Yes. Okay. He's just annoyingly insecure. That should be his problem, not yours. I don't know, you think so? I know. He just has a way of dragging me into it. I'm tired. I don't know. Does he want me to swear an oath or something? What does he want me to do? I think he's just being paranoid. Maybe you should. <sighs> Hey, hey, what are you doing? Are you, what are you doing? I didn't ask you to come here. Answer what are you doing here? Leave her alone and get out of my house. Just keep quiet. This is none of your damn business. It's my place. Oh, you leave her alone. You leave her alone. Now you say your friend? Yes. Oh, really? oh, you think I don't know how to look at that house? You are talking no. nonsense. Can you leave my room? Can you leave my room? Can you leave my room? Get out of my room. Can you leave my room? Wait, 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 stop. Stop fighting. No, 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 no. Are you serious? I'm serious. She's serious. Leave, leave my room. Just... I said leave! Leave! Oh, alright, alright. Okay? Look, I will advise you to go out and get yourself your own room and stop losing out another match. She's my friend! She's my friend! She's my friend! She's my friend. Huh? Oh, you. It's my friend. Mona, are you serious? Huh? Leave! Uh-uh. Yes, leave my room. Please, leave my room. What is wrong with me? How would you do that? Do I look like I can't defend myself? I had to try to defend you. Can't you see how you came here trying to drag you out of here? No, but this is all my fault. It's not your fault. Whatever he did right now, it's all you. What, what about where he's been treating you? It's not your fault. Can I stay over at your place? I don't want to go home and meet Oscar. He's erratic and I really can't deal with him right now. Never mind, I'm sorry. No, it's, it's okay. I mean, you can. 
You can stay, you can stay, you can stay for as, as long as you want. You can just make yourself comfortable, okay? I can't. Yeah. I'm sorry. Can I get a drink? Yeah, it's just uh, in the in the fridge. So yeah, fridge. Good. Okay. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, Maya. happy birthday to you, happy birthday, Monachi. Wow. Um, Steve, thank yeah. you. You are so welcome. I got you a cake and uh, it's a bottle of wine. It's time for you to make a wish. Okay. Mm -hmm. Come on, make a wish. <laughs> make a wish. Oh. Um. Okay, that's too long. It's my wish. <laughs> you can't wish for the whole world. Okay, okay. All right, what All did right. you wish for? I didn't know I was supposed to tell you okay. what I wish for. Don't be smart. <laughs> All right. You're the one being smart. You know that, right? No, I'm just trying to pick your brain. Know what you're wishing for. <laughs> hey. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is so sweet. I wish you all the best things in this life. I wish you all your heart desires. I pray that God continue to bless you, fill you with wisdom, peace, happiness, and love. Amen. 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 Are you going to eat the cake? Yeah. Oh, you said you wanted to say something to me. Wanted to talk to me about something. Yes, I... What? I wanted to... So... <clears throat> I wanted to... I'm sorry I should have told you that... Um, I, I am. Mona. Oscar and I are. We've been talking and. We're gonna get back together. He apologized and. You know, I wanted to tell you because I know the both of you don't get along and considering what happened last time. Is it what you want? I love him. I asked, is that what you really want? He loves me. We love each other and, you know, we make each other happy. 
Are you happy? Um, the fact that we're happy or we're in a relationship doesn't mean that we won't have challenges. Every relationship comes with its own challenges, but he, we've talked about it and he's willing to work on this relationship and, you know, I think we're compatible, so I'm, I'm going to give it a shot. Does it make you happy? Yep. You mean she never realized you loved her? I don't think I ever had the courage to how I truly felt about her. So, and now you wish you did? My now is with you. I have you now, and I love you so much. That's all that matters. I love you too. Yes. I love you so much. I want to understand how we lost this client. I... I don't know and... Honestly, I didn't do anything. That's the thing. You didn't do anything. You do nothing, Oscar. Nothing! And what is that supposed to be? You are not earning your keep, Oscar. You're not. Since you came into this office, since you joined this company, you've brought in no new client. Now you're making us to lose the clients that we have. <sighs> Why do I feel this is personal? Excuse me. I mean, because honestly, I am trying my best. I am. It, it, it has become tradition that no matter what I do, you always find fault. And I don't know why. Fault? Oscar, fault? Your best? Well, maybe your best ain't good enough for this company. Maybe your best sucks. Yes, you are the freaking marketing manager here. Grow some balls and, 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 and take on some responsibilities. What's wrong with you, Oscar? Wait, 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 wait. wait. I, I, I think, I think, I, just, just hold it there. Hold it there. I think I know why you ain't. Yes, I do. And that's because I've got the woman that, that you ever want. Leave my office. Now! Leave my office now! I, I, will, I will leave. I will leave. But trust me, you will never get any inch close to Melinda. I'll make sure of that. No matter how long you wait. And look, I'm going to make sure I turn in my resignation today before the close of work. Well, good luck with that. Good luck with that. Let me see you go and find a new job. Nonsense. Good luck with that. Get out of my That's office. Close my door. Nonsense. That there are limitless uh, opportunities for a job in this country. You can't even do free your freaking job well. You got your conscience to lose my, my, my best clients. Damn. What you want? Let's give us what you want. What do I do? You have phone. I don't have. I don't have any. You have phone. You just need only phone. You phone. I don't have anything. Let's have your watch. Can I have your phone?
Não sei, tô feliz. Eu estou. Eu estou. Eu estou. Eu estou. Eu estou. Eu On my hands. Just, what, what, just, hospital, hospital. Okay. Yes, yes, hospital, hospital. Who do I? Who do I get to call? Just, who do I get to call? 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 Who do I get to This is not normal at all. Do I go now, eh? Oscar, talk, talk to me. What happened to you? Talk to me. I... I was going to resign from work today. After I had a confrontation with my boss. So I just didn't fit to to sort their accounts. And for that reason I had to work late into the night. I was done with work and like I was about leaving the office. So Nudlam attacked me and oh. in the process, Steve had to come to my rescue. Steve. Yes. Is, is this Steve's blood? What happened to Steve? It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. I, I, I managed to take him to the hospital. The doctor said he's doing fine. I, I, I don't know how I managed to have lost my phone. Maybe those guys took it. I don't know. How oh, how is Steve? It's fine. It's fine. Sweetheart, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I put you all locked up. It's okay. You're here now and, and everything's going to be fine. It's not your fault. Don't cry, okay? It's alright. It's alright, it's alright. Yes. 
So sorry I couldn't come in last night. When I got the call, I had to rush down to the hospital. I was told you were discharged, so I had to come down here. So sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Who called you? Um, your colleague. He actually called with your phone, though. I think he said his name um, was Oscar. Oscar or something. He called when you guys got to the hospital. No. Oh, goodness. I, I have a blood on my hand. No, just, 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 hospital, hospital, okay. Yes, hospital, hospital. Who do I, who do I get to call? Just, who do I get to call? Who do I get to call? Who do I get to call? We solve everything. I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm sorry. How did this happen? Um, it's, um, <laughs> it's just one of those crazy things, being at the wrong place at the wrong time. That's all. Were you involved in a fight or something? No, no, I wasn't. In fact, I tried to calm the situation down and then I became a collateral. That's all work as how do you know. These things happen sometimes. Well, I'm glad you're fine now. Yeah, me too. I'm glad I'm safe. Come here. What? What? What's up? Babe, don't you think we should check up on Steve? It's fine. I spoke with the doctor and he told me he'll be alright. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's enough? Is that the right thing to do? Not exactly, is it not true? Like you, you, you want to call your ex-boyfriend? Is that it? Look, I was I managed to stomach the fact that you had once reached out to me. I mean, I, I can't tolerate it anymore. Babe, Steve is not my boyfriend. I've told you time and again. All we had was a friend. A situation ship. Right, right. I get it. But I'm not comfortable with that situation ship. Look. I am not calling him. You are not calling him. No one is calling him. I mean, I did what I had to do. I took him to the hospital, uh, called his girlfriend. And from the look of things, I uh, made to realize that he's recovering fine. You are so selfish. That guy took a bullet for you. No, 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 no. Point of correction. He did not take a bullet for you. It was, well, it was just stabbed with a knife. You know what? You are impossible. You are impossible. No, no, what exactly is it that you want? I mean, what do you want exactly? Oh, you want to invite your, your ex-boyfriend into our lives? Is that what you want? It is not my job to nurse your insecurities. I will not do that. I refuse to do that. Calling a sick man does not mean I'm inviting him into our lives. I mean, what if he didn't show up? It could have been you in the hospital, lying right there on the sick bed. It would have been you that was what? What if you died for crying out loud? If Steve didn't show up, those guys would have beaten you to a pulp and there would have been nobody to rescue you. Nobody would have known what happened to you. 
in spite of, of, of the bad blood and the resentment and the rivalry and everything, he was mature enough to put it all behind him and he stepped into that fight for you. He got hurt because he was helping you. And what does he get in return? What I'm asking you is to be human. I'm not asking that you become best friends. No, I'm not saying you should kiss and make up. No. I'm just asking you to call him, to check up on him as a human being would. Are you done? No, I'm not done. To think I thought Steve was the one who was, who was petty and immature for calling off our friendship simply because we were getting married. But clearly, you're the one who's petty. You're the one who can't stand the fact that you're working with Steve, that you're calling him boss, that he's working in the same office with you. You were willing to quit your job at the slightest provocation simply because you were working in the same office with Steve. I mean, what justification do you have for your actions? What has he ever done to you? His only crime was being my friend and loving me as a friend. Right. Friend. friend emphasis on friend friend indeed has he ever attacked this relationship has he ever attacked you has he has he done anything to jeopardize this this marriage i think you need to look at the man in the mirror and have yourself checked because i'm tired i'm tired of of every, all of this everything steve is your boyfriend steve is your ex how many times will i explain it to you are you, are you done? Oh, I, I can see you all emotional now. Hmm? Or you want to shed tears for you? Go, go ahead. Enjoy. Be my guest. Nonsense. So, see, then, in reunion, my day. Steve, this, Steve, that. Hello. What Hi, Steve. Are you okay? I'm fine. My goodness, I was worried. How deep is the cut? It will heal. You don't have to worry about it. Mona, are you there? Are you okay? Yes, I am. I was just... I was really worried about you. Is it okay if I come visit? Um... Do you think that would be a good idea? What's there? It's just a harmless visit. We've been friends since forever and... I just... I won't be relaxed if I don't see you and just know exactly how you're doing. Okay, I'll text you the address. All right. Bye. All right, talk to you later. Bye. Let it go. Yeah. Let it go. Yeah. And try to move on. She's not the only one. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah. And try to move on. She's not the only one. I know sometimes it may not be easy. Going somewhere? Yes, I'm going to pay Steve a visit. You can try to stop me. But you and I both know that Steve has always been in my life. Way before you came into the picture. I've known Steve for a lifetime. I know the bone of contention is the fact that I killed Steve once. And maybe my mistake was telling you the truth. But that was simply because we, we were having issues and you pushed me. I was vulnerable at that moment. You were making me regret the fact that I was honest to you and we reconciled and I told you about this. <sighs> You keep going on and on and on about Steve, but really, I'm with you. 
I'm not with him. I chose you. Look, you. You can't blame me. I mean, anyone would easily fall for Steve. I mean, anyone would easily catch feelings for him. He's good looking. He's doing pretty well for himself. He's got a good job. You know, he's, he's calm and smart. Can you come? I love you, okay? If I loved Steve, I would have gone for him. I chose to be with you. Let's just accept that. Um, Mona. Send me hard to him. I know sometimes it may not be easy, but you have to let it go. Oh, let it go. Oh, I know sometimes it may not be easy, but you have to let it go. Hey. Hey. You're supposed to be lying down. I'm fine. No, you were not. You got stabbed last night and you still have an injury. And I'm walking. I'm fine. You are stubborn. I know. <laughs> so, babe. Yeah. I, um, I'm having a guest today and I just thought I'd let you know before. Oh, who's that? Um, who is that? Mona. Mona. Mona is coming here. You still speak to Mona? Baby, I haven't been speaking to Mona. She just called me and said she wanted to come around to see how I'm faring, that's all. She called? Yes. She still has your number? She knows you hurt? <laughs> Why didn't you tell me about that? Baby, come on. It's not what you think. Of course it is not what I think! Me, that my boyfriend's crush is now Mona and I are just friends. You know what? I am tired. Steve, I am tired. I am tired of running in, in circles with you. Before now, you used to be lost in, in, in thought with her. And now she's coming over. You know what? What am I even still doing here in the first place? Angela, you are my girlfriend. Girlfriend or your rebound, Steve! What is it? Where's this coming from? You know what? I am going to make things easy for the both of us because I can clearly see that you only need me when it's convenient for you. She's and now that Mona is back in your life, you she's not back to... in my life. Mona is not back in my life. Angela Mona is a married woman. She's married. And she's never been in my life like you're trying to insinuate. We've always been great friends. You know what? Whatever it is you feel for Mona, or whatever it is that is going on with the both of you, it's not something I want to compete with. Take good care of yourself. And when she comes, tell her to help you out with the sauce. Angela! Angela! Angela, come on! It's not what you think!
Oh, okay. you. Oh. Okay, I am. Um, I'm fine. I'm really glad you came. I had to come. Thank you. Thank you for saving my husband last night. Um, I, I'm so grateful. You, you're welcome. It's, it's not a problem. It, it's fine. Oh, um, what can I offer you? Nothing, nothing. I just wanted to know how you were faring. Um, I'm doing good. I'm much better. The pain subsiding. You've always been Mr. Independent. Like I had a choice. Are you happy? Yeah. Yeah. You're not married. There's no wife. No. 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 I don't think I'm ready. Yeah, you have to be ready to become wife. Are you happy? Are you happy? Yeah. Oscar is a great guy. I love him. But are you happy? Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course you are. Of course you are. Hmm. Yeah. What? I need to get going. Um, oh. <clears throat> um. I just um. Okay, uh, look, um, can we do this again? Do like, um, like, sit down, uh, talk, like old times. Things are not the same. We need to let the past be in the past. Yeah. Um, I'm married now. Considering our history, Oscar won't. When it's hanging out. Of course. Of course. You won't. Um, I need to go now. Okay. Mona. Yes. I was wrong. You're right. Baby. I feel so insecure with Steve in the picture. And that's why I get scared sometimes. You know, you and I know he has a thing for me. And my fear is that should you be allowed to spend more time with him? It's possible you get to feel the same too. I don't want to lose you. I don't. I don't want to lose you. I love you now. I love you too. 
look, our relationship might not be perfect, but one thing we know for a fact is that we love each other and we want what's best for each other. Mm -hmm. Um, you know what I have been thinking? What? How about, how about we get rid of this birth control thing and have a family, have an addition to this family? What? What are you talking about? What do you know what I'm talking about? We agreed, no pressure. Yes. So? I know. But yes, we have a house. You know, I mean, we love each other. So, why not? And what of the job? <laughs> Don't be like this. Don't. Okay, promise me. Can you just promise that you get your old job back? Oh, come on. I thought we've, we've, we've gone past this. I thought we've left this behind. That job was perfect. Okay, the job role was, was good. The salary was awesome. And it was close to the house. Babe, Babe you can't pass up an opportunity like this now. Come on. You know, I think the atmosphere is really tense with everything that has happened. What if we try to, you know, move on from the past and just leave all of this behind us? How about you and Steve try to get along? It's, it's not too much to ask. No, no, no. Are you suggesting, I mean, by trying to get along, are you suggesting myself and Steve be friends? Yes. I'll come off it. I mean, the dude doesn't like it. You both have a lot in common. And it's not like you like him. Okay, okay. I mean, all right, fine, fine. But can we start the process? The process of what? Leave me, I mean, don't, come, don't, come don't, come, don't come near me. Don't come, don't just leave me, don't come near me. Just leave me alone. That's true. It is sad sometimes to see the one you love with another. With all of the time that you spent dreaming to tell her. Sometimes it's hard to let go, to let go of the memories. Oh, but sometimes it's also better to let someone go. Let it go. Let it go. And try to move. She's not the only one. Let it go. Let it go. And try to move on. She's not the only one. I know sometimes it may not be easy, but you have to let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Oh, I know sometimes it may not be easy, but you have to let it go. She's not the only Well, I was hoping you would have taken some days off work. Why? Because of this? Oh, come on, Oscar. It's not like I was diagnosed with some terminal disease or something. Well, regardless, you still need some, some rest. Oscar, you can't tell me what to do. I knew, what are you even doing here? I told you tendered your resignation some days ago. Oh, uh, I guess I did. Uh, well, I just came in to check on you to see how you're faring. 
And from the look of things, I can see you're doing really well. Yeah, pretty well. Oh, well, in that case, I think I have to take my leave. Oscar. A man has to know when to let go of his ego. You have been riding on that horse for a long time, and it's going to be stupid of you to let go of a good opportunity because of your pride. Your resignation letter. I didn't give it to the HR. So if you think you can be humble enough to work for a crazy or stupid or whatever man you think I am, then you still have the job. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, you can shut my door on your way out. Steve, I... I would like to thank you for what you did the other day. I mean, that was quite heroic and brave of you, standing up for me and getting hurt in the process. Thank you. Someone had to take the blow, right? And from all indication, um, it proves that I have a thicker skin than you do. So I took the blow. Anyways, I'm glad I could help. Thank you once again. It's not a problem. Um, you know, I, I was thinking if, you know, as a way of saying thank you properly, if I could play host to you, you know, like, um, Hang out, you know, take you out, you know, a couple of bottles. You know. Oscar, you asking me out on a date? Well, oh, come off it, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on, it's just a way of me expressing my gratitude. And trust me, my wife Mona, wouldn't mind. Oh, okay. So, uh, wherever you want us to go, you have to know now that I am vegetarian. Since when? Well, since the last time I tried pork. Pork? Yeah, I had pork meat and uh, <laughs> you want to hear about the story? Oh, of course, bring it up. Okay, that was one crazy time. I was out with some friends and uh, there was this guy who was garnishing. Okay, so, um, Steve, um, so tell me, what are you still waiting for? I mean, waiting for Mrs. Wright. What's taking you this long? <laughs> well, maybe I'm still trying to search uh, deeper, mm. find the right person. You know, finding the right person is very important. You of all people should know that, right? That's true. <laughs> I do. Yeah. Well, I want to say thanks to you guys for inviting me out. It's been lovely. No, it's nothing. It's fine. Get some wine and everything. It out. <laughs> That's right. It's fine. Oh. Yes, excuse me, man. Too. I need to take this call. It's quite important. Mm. Okay. Sit down. Um. Sorry. Um. Hello. So. Um. <coughs> Thanks for honoring our invitation. Oh, I'm just glad I was able to make it, that's all. Yeah. Look beautiful. Thank you. So, what's work like? You know, the two of you, are you getting along in yeah, the office? Yeah. You try to shut down the conversation, right? But I'm not joking, you look so beautiful. 
just tonight. Oh, come on. Always, <laughs> always. I mean, but tonight you... Radiant. Thank you. It's kind of exceptional, but you know. <laughs> Exceptional. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think you've had too much to drink. Yeah, probably. Probably. Uh, you should probably stop drinking. <laughs> I know. Okay, so guys, tell me, what did I miss? Uh, nothing, babe. <laughs> nothing, babe. <laughs> oh. Mm. Nice. Um, but I, I seriously think that we should, uh, we should do this more. Well, why not? Yeah. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Hmm. <laughs> you look pretty excited tonight. Yeah, I am. It was a lovely evening. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I also noticed how you were laughing and listening at it. I was controlling it too. That's Babes. <laughs> You can't deny Steve does have a wonderful sense of humor. Mm. <laughs> Couple of the fact that if you don't take his eyes off, he's just staring at you all the while. Where are you going with this? Well, I just want to know. Because honestly, I've never seen you laugh so hard the way you did tonight. Are, Are you know? happy with yourself? Hmm? Are you proud of what you're saying right now? No, tell me, are you happy? I mean, are you saying I, I, I don't make you happy? Is that what you're saying? I'm going to pretend we didn't have this conversation. Okay? Good night. So what do you what do you think you're doing? Well, what's the meaning of this? Hey, Oscar. What up, man? What's up? Ah, uh, nothing. Um. What are you doing this weekend? Um, nothing. Anything the problem? Not at all. I was just uh, thinking there is this new, very nice place. Uh, if you are free or you guys are free, we could just have dinner together, you know? Uh, mind treat this time around. Okay. I could send you the address of the place if you check it out, just to make sure you're comfortable. Okay. I mean, by... Us, you mean myself and my wife? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, uh, you uh, okay, okay. You're born well, Steve, the truth is, I, I'm sorry to turn you down, right? Myself and my wife, we have an engagement this weekend. So, um, I'm sorry, all right? Okay, that's fine. Uh, Enjoy, bro. Um, one second. What? You okay? Yes, I am. Look, I, I need to be truthful to you, all right? In actual fact, I'm not cool with the fact that I get to see you hanging around my wife. Yes, I invited you over to dinner. Well, that's just me appreciating you for what you did. But that doesn't mean we're friends now. But we get it. It's okay. It's okay. That's fine. That's it. All right. All right. Enjoy your evening, man. It's sad sometimes to see the one you love And it's another With all of the time that she spent Dreaming to tell her Hey Angie, it's me I was kind of wondering if we could, uh, you know, meet up, talk. 
Angie, I need you to give me a second chance. Please. I know I haven't been the best man. I, I know I've, I've made a lot of mistakes. I mean, I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. But I need you, Angie. I need you in my life. I don't need you because um, I'm lonely or because you are rebound or anything like that. No, I, I need you because I love you. Yes, Angie, I love you. I just can't do without you. Look, I'm going to keep texting you. I'm going to keep calling until you. Until you pick up my call, until you give me a second chance. Please, Angie. I I love you, please. Just give me a second chance. Please. What effort? Guy sucks. What are you on about? I mean, your guy, Steve. I mean, he had the effrontery to invite us to lunch. I mean, who does that? And what's what's wrong with that? Oh, so, so you mean you don't see anything wrong in that? I don't. Do you? Are you kidding me? So you want to go on a date with him? I, I'm not saying I want to go on a date with him. I mean, just like we invited him out and he honored our invitation. What's wrong if we reciprocate? I mean, so you don't get it. Don't you see that he's trying to use this as, as a way of getting back with you? Getting back with me? How, Oscar? How many times am I supposed to tell you this? That Steve and I were never together. We were just friends. Look, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm sick and tired of your, of your nagging and constantly pushing Steve down my throat. We were just friends. I mean, what, what is this? Oh, Steve is such, a, is such a great guy. Steve is so rich. Oh, Steve is such a charmer. Steve this, Steve that. What is your problem? I, I, I haven't said anything. Bad. I mean, you're just blowing things out of proportion. You are the one blowing things out of proportion here. It's almost like you have this sick fantasy of me and Steve living together or something. I'm, 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 I'm sick and tired of you whining like a, like a woman, okay? Steve is trying to bury the hatchet. And I think you should do the same. Huh? Thank you. Oh, well, this is for you. Oh, okay. Um, oh, what a wine. Thank you. Bye, man. You're welcome. Thank you. Have a seat. Uh, uh, I need to use the restroom. Okay. Uh, oh, that is broken. I have to show you upstairs. Oh, okay. All right. It's coming. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Your house is so lovely. You're big. You yeah. shouldn't live alone. <laughs> I know. It gets lonely sometimes, but it is what it is, right? Kim, hey, why are you still alone? I mean, no relationship, no situation. Like I told you, it's complicated. So, um, no grudges between you and I. Grudges? Is there any reason for a grudge? Steve, don't pretend like you don't know what to do. 
I realize we we didn't talk about it, but it wasn't my intention to lead you on. And I realized that maybe I did. And you're a great guy, you don't deserve that. I just I need to talk about it. I don't think we should talk about it. Just forget about it. We should talk about it. guy who sits in a row, waiting, watching from a distance. I'm the guy you used to come to when you were lonely, hurt. You were sad when you needed a shoulder to cry on. I was that guy. I was that guy you kissed when it was convenient for you. And I was also the guy that you left behind without any hesitation when you had to. You know I respect you, boy. You know that. You hurt me, mother. You hurt me so bad. But yet I... I couldn't hold it against you. I guess I was, was too weak or I couldn't tell you how much I loved you or how I felt about you. But yet and still, rejection. It hurts what I had told you or I didn't tell you when you knew how I felt about you. And you took advantage of my feelings when it was convenient for you. I guess, I guess I was stupid, stupid to think that the love I felt was, the love I felt for you was enough for the both of us. But that was a crazy kind of thinking. Look, you're one of the strongest people I know. You... <sighs> strongest people. That's why I say, right? When you love someone, you have no control over it. That's what love does to you. It makes you feel powerless. It wasn't my intention to make you feel powerless. Do you love me? Say it. To me. I left you because you were being impatient and unreasonable. You expected me to throw away all that I had built with Oscar for just one kiss. Just one kiss. 
I loved you. I loved you so much that even when you hurt me, I, I just couldn't hold it against you. I guess it was my own way of solving things, you know, dealing with issues by blocking everybody out. You don't block people you love. You don't just throw it away. We're my friends. You should have found a way to work things out. I mean, not every friendship should lead to marriage, but still, we were friends. I think Oscar is a great guy. Steve. He loves you. You love him. He makes you happy. And I'm, I'm glad you chose him. Yeah. Oscar is a great guy and I love him as much as he loves me. We're starting a family. And I... I want you to be okay with that. I want you to be okay with that. I, I want you to move on. Yeah. It's fine, I man. I want us to always have the good relationship we've had in the past. Yeah. As long as you're happy, I'm happy. As long as he makes you happy, I'm happy. Yeah, I mean, we need to go have dinner. Dinner will have itself. Yeah. I was beginning to think that dinner was cancelled. Of course not. Don't worry, we'll have dinner, sir. Okay, um... Alright, I think I should, uh, get dinner. Okay. Oh! Hey! Hi. Um... Angela, this is uh, Mona and her husband, uh, Oscar. I invited him over for dinner. Um, we have to talk, I'm sorry for. We definitely have a lot to talk about. Yes, uh, but are you going to join us for dinner? <laughs> Did you cook? I try. <laughs> okay, come on, let's go. All right, uh, guys, um, um, this is Angela, my girlfriend. Angela, this is Mona and uh, Oscar. Hi, Angela. Hi. You're beautiful. Oh, thank you. Hi, hi. My name is Oscar. Hi, Oscar. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. Yeah. So, um, can we go eat now? Please. Okay. Yes. I can stand right, another minute longer. Can we go help me pack this? Well, come on, let's go. Let's go.
that sometimes you see the one you love with another. With all of the time that you spent dreaming to tell her. Sometimes it's hard to let go, to let go of the memories. Oh, but sometimes it's also better to let someone go.